Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Financial Management. We are doing the chapter of cost of capital where we are interested in calculation of KE, KD, KP, KR and so on and so forth. Also do remember that all our MCQs of costing subject are already there on a YouTube channel in form of the playlist for each and every chapter. Request that if you have any problem anywhere, go through them. All our regular courses you all can purchase from the links that are given below. Apart from that, our Telegram channel gives you the updates for costing FM and CA final SCMPE. So let's start it off with today's MCQ. In order to calculate WACC, weighted average cost of capital, also called as KO. Okay, some people also denote that as KC. Weights may be based on, okay, weights may be based on A, market value, okay, B, target values, okay, C, book values, okay, and lastly in this case, D, any of the above. Now, I guess you will be knowing the answer. This is the time to come in, so please do that. Okay, so out of the four answers, okay, which is the correct one? See, whenever you have to find out KO, KO means overall cost of capital, weighted average cost of capital, composite cost of capital, denoted as KO or KC. What columns you all have? First of all, in the first column, you try to have all the sources of capital, say debt, preference, equity. Then second, amount. Now, these amounts can be based upon the balance sheet values. Then they are called as book value weights. They could be based upon the market value of debentures, preference shares and equity shares that you all have issued. Then in that case, it will be called as uh, market value weights. These are two popular things that are there. Apart from that, based upon these amounts only, weights are calculated. Now, weights, in my example, you all can see it is 12.5, 25 and 62.5 based upon the numbers that you all have written. But some people can always have a notion. I think that in long run, my company will have, say, 50 percent equity, 30 percent preference and 20 percent debt. Might be today it is not. But then somewhere in the near future, my weights or my funds will start to come in the ratio of 50, 30, 20. So why not from today only use those as weights? Such kind of weights are popularly called as target weights. So therefore, these weights that I have calculated, they may be either taken from book values or market values, or they may be based upon an ideal capital structure. That ideal capital structure is also called as target weights. Okay. Then you all will have your percentage cost and then finally you will be computing your cost as such. Okay. So therefore, uh, in order to find out COC, we require weights. Weights can either be book value that is based upon the balance sheet or market value or target weights. So out of the four options, I guess answer should be D over here, any of the above. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Bye.